In 1942, Darwin, Australia, bore the brunt of a devastating bombing raid orchestrated by the Japanese during World War II. This assault specifically targeted key Allied bases and vital infrastructure in northern Australia, forming part of a larger campaign of air raids. The attack, which unfolded on July 1st, stands as a defining moment in the history of the conflict, leaving indelible marks on the region. The Japanese raid on Darwin was a meticulously planned operation, meticulously designed to cripple the Allies' military presence and establish Japanese dominance in the Pacific. It was executed by a formidable force of 242 aircraft comprised of fighter jets, high-level bombers, and dive bombers. As the first rays of the sun broke over the horizon, the tranquil town of Darwin, nestled along Australia's northern coast, was jolted into chaos. Japanese fighter jets swooped down upon the unsuspecting city, unleashing an unrelenting storm of bombs and torpedoes. The deafening roar of explosions reverberated through the air as military installations, ships in the harbor, and the very fabric of the city itself became targets of destruction. The scope of the attack was immense. Darwin bore witness to an astonishing 64 air raids in one single day. The relentless bombardment claimed the lives of many brave servicemen and civilians, leaving a trail of devastation. Notably, the USS Peary and the HMAS Patricia Cam were among the eight Allied vessels tragically sunk amidst the unyielding onslaught. The harbor transformed into a seething inferno, with oil and fuel catching fire, casting a haunting glow over the waters. Overall, an astounding 681,000 pounds, or 309,000 kilograms of bombs, rained down upon Darwin during the course of the operation. The toll exacted by the bombing was staggering. The city itself laid in ruins, its once proud structures reduced to rubble. The survivors, burdened with physical and emotional scars, grappled with the profound shock and trauma that was inflicted upon them. The bombing of Darwin represented a critical turning point, underscoring the immediate peril posed by Japanese forces and exposing the vulnerability of Australia's northern coastline. It served as a resounding call to arms for all the Allied nations galvanizing their determination to reinforce their defenses and intensify their commitment to the Pacific theater of war. Today, Darwin, the capital of Australia's Northern Territory, has emerged as a vibrant and cosmopolitan metropolis, having risen from the ashes of the World War II bombing raid. Nestled against a backdrop of breathtaking natural beauty, the city enjoys a tropical climate. It boasts a lively waterfront scene. Its multicultural tapestry is woven with threads from diverse backgrounds, fostering a rich tapestry of arts, gastronomy, and cultural experiences. Moreover, Darwin thrives as a hub for various economic sectors, including mining, oil and gas exploration, tourism, and agriculture, contributing significantly to the region's prosperity. And amidst the city's modernization, the memory of the bombing remains etched in the collective consciousness, serving as a solemn testament to the resilience and fortitude of its people. These are interesting things with J.C.